Hello, and welcome to Vacation Station, hosted by Lisa and Nancy, editors of BigBlendMagazines.com. On today's episode of Big Blend Radio's Spring Travel Showcase, we are going to beautiful Natchitoches in Louisiana, and uh, this is such a beautiful destination. You've got Cane River Lake, you've got an historic downtown district, you've got flowers, plantations, historic homes, uh, it is just, and churches, it is beautiful, and it's, you've also got the Kisachi National Forest, which is really a, a great destination. It's Louisiana's only national forest, and it's got all kinds of spring flowers and azaleas, so uh, Natchitoches, Louisiana is the oldest uh, settlement in the state, so we're very excited. Nancy and I um, have traveled there on our Love Your Parks tour twice, and now we just want to go right back as soon as we say it's the word so Natchitoches. It's so cool. I know. It's, it's one of the prettiest places ever. I know. You need to have yeah. another award. Uh, Kelly West, our tour guide, our Love Your Parks tour guide when we're in Natchitoches is here. She is from the Natchitoches Convention and Visitors Bureau. And I encourage you to go to their website. It's got all the calendar of the events. Uh, they have a lot of festivals going on all the time. It is Natchitoches.com and that is spelled N-A-T-C-H-I-O. Oh, no, I can't spell it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It is, and I haven't, I haven't even had a drive through drag yet. <laughs> That's because oh. I'm not there yet. But it's Natchitoches, N-A-T-C-H-I-T-O-C-H-E-S, Natchitoches.com. It's like Natchitoches. Uh, so welcome back, Kelly. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm great. How are you guys? We're doing good. good. We should be saying hi, y'all. Hey, hi, y'all. y'all. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> back, back, back to that, you know, so... Yeah, you guys, how was winter? You guys had that big uh, winter festival. Didn't Mardi Gras, like, what, a day away from this recording? But um, it looked like, you know, the Christmas festival was really a big hit once again. Yes, we had a really amazing Christmas festival season. Um, one of the best um, with people coming in and staying the night and everything that we've had in a while. So we were very blessed this Christmas season um, and blessed with great weather. So uh, it was cool. a good year. Awesome. Good. Awesome. And then spring, if you guys get f- spring fever out there and said, okay, it's time for flower power. Cause you've got magnolia trees everywhere, oak trees. You've got those beautiful ferns. I mean, it's just, it's gotta be beautiful in spring. Yes. The Japanese magnolias are actually blooming right now and they are gorgeous. I've been just driving through the historic district, just kind of in awe. I love this time of year. Um, this big pink blooms um, popping up all over the place. Ooh, nice. Um, yeah, yeah. And here mm. in a few weeks, um, leading up to our annual Blooming on the Bricks event, the city will also put out all their potted tulips, thousands of tulips Ooh. all throughout the downtown area. So it, it, it's starting to bloom. It's a little wet right now for blooms. Um, our daffodils have sprung. Um, some of the tulips, my boss um, picked some beautiful pink tulips out of her yard last week. So um, flowers are starting to bloom. It's starting to become really colorful around here. That's nice. Awesome. And it's, do you get like, is spring um, a big wedding season over at Beau Jardine, that beautiful waterfront garden that you have uh, that yeah. overlooks Cane River Lake? Yes. Um, so that's a favorite. Um, it's been a little wet, unfortunately, um, the last few weeks. Um, we need the rain to kind of stop for a little bit. But, um, <laughs> but yes, um, you know, obviously the garden's, um, and with the rain, I'm sure the gardens are even be- more beautiful right now, soaking in all that water. But um, yes, the gardens are a favorite for spring weddings. Well, one of our favorite gardens is at Cane River Creole National Historical Park. And everywhere, Natchitoches being the oldest sediment, is actually part of the Cane River National Heritage Area. And when she says there's a National Historic District, that's part of the downtown. I mean, with brick streets, I mean, it's just amazing. Um, but what's it's interesting too is you know you look at the the gardens. I just saw those uh, Japanese magnolias in bloom over there, and I think it was Instagram or Facebook they were posting it. But mm-hmm. you have that. I mean, not only are you going, it's a big garden because it's a plantation, right? The historic plantation, but uh, they have a bottle garden. You know, we like our wine. (laughs) 
they have their bottle garden with daylilies and everything outside the front of the plantation at Oakland Plantation. Exactly. So I'm just saying, everybody, go check out the bottle garden. It's really, really cool. But Kisachi, isn't this the time of year to go see the azaleas in Kisachi National Forest? Yeah, um, usually the wild azaleas will bloom right toward the end of March, kind of the third, fourth week of March. It may be a little bit sooner this year with all the rain that we've had, but mm -hmm. this is the perfect time to get out in Kisachi and see those early blooms in the wild azaleas, yes. And you have orchids out there too, which is neat. There are so many different um, species of flora out there that it's, it's quite amazing um, walking through and seeing what you can see. Mm, that's cool. So the downtown, um, oh, and I'll, I'm going to ask this, we were talking about, you know, the Christmas festival, but in November, um, I know that you uh, launched the new Steel Magnolias film trail as part of the Natchitoches uh, film trail. How did that go? How did the big blush, the, the blush and bashful weekend go? It was amazing. Um, we saw so many people that came in from out of town that, um, sorry they're that, all calling uh, in right now yeah they get are. your tickets they, wa they want to come visit i don't know um, what you think there's a lot but get them <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so the blush and bashful you know we showed the movie at the movie theater um they sold out four theaters um wow at the um seven o'clock showing so it was like 400 people saw the movie in that theater where it originally premiered. So that was a really amazing event. That's cool. um, we had five entries in our armadillo cake contest. Um, so that was <laughs> exciting. Um, when Bobby Harling, who wrote the story, and it's a true story about his sister and his mom, um, he actually gave a talk at the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame in Northwest Louisiana History Museum on that Saturday. And there was standing room only the mm. place was packed more than 200 people they are hearing his stories and he gave personal anecdotes and told us you know about even when they went to the london premiere of the film and all kinds of different in interesting um tidbits that people just don't know and so it was it was a great weekend it was a really wonderful weekend we were very um happy with the turnout and the success that's cool. And so now, like, this is a trail that people can follow year round. Uh, you've got a wonderful listing and uh, direction, you know, all the different places where Steel Magnolias was filmed in Natchitoches, but all these other movies as well. Um, you've got that all up on Natchitoches.com. So that's something exactly. which is neat. And uh, speaking of film, uh, March 20th is um, it, it's the uh, Cane River Film Festival. So that's still going. Yes, the Cane River Film Festival will be March 20th and 21st. Um, she's got a really great lineup of um, presenters and films this year, um, a wide variety of um, topics of those films. So it's going to be a really interesting weekend. Most of the events on that Friday will be up at Northwestern State University in their School of Business. And then there's some events between the university and um, in the downtown area for the 21st. And so it's going to be a good weekend. And it's called, it's from the uh, Resurrection Fern Foundation. And I love that because the Resurrection Ferns, that's something, Nancy, that's cool because they're the ones that are on the, on the oak trees we were looking at. Remember? Mm -hmm. Especially yes. at, mm -hmm. at Oakland Plantation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Good tie in there. But those ferns are the ones that don't they like when they rain pop up again or something like that? Yeah. So they, a lot of times they look just real dead and withered on the trees, but, um, but they're not technically dead and as soon as it rains they just perk up and become green and come back to full life again um so they're they're called resurrection ferns and you see them a lot on the oak trees um in yes around oakland around melrose plantation um in here around natchitoches right on right on so cool. Um, you know, we're talking about the plantations a lot and, and a couple of the events I wanted to touch on um, is uh, National Park Week is a big deal. And that's uh, April 25th, you have Find Your Park Festival. So that's normally a collaborative between the Cane River National Heritage Area, which is also part of the National Park Service, um, but and also uh, Cane River National Historical Park, right? Yes. So the Cane River in, in the Heritage Area and the Creole Historical Park are both celebrating their 25th anniversary uh, right now. But, um, 25 years ago is when they were created through federal legislation. So um, this year's Find Your Park Festival on April 25th um, at Oakland Plantation is sure to be a really special event. Um, it's really celebrating that 25 years of mm. parks here in 
uh, Central and Natchitoches in the Central Northern Louisiana region. Awesome. Awesome. We need to go back, Nancy. Mm-hmm. Oh, I yeah. know. But well, we always want to go back. I know. I know. As soon as we leave, we're like, why? Well, let's go turn around. I know. Like Natchitoches has stolen our heart for sure. Yeah, you know, it's very much so. I know if there's the meat pies, the fried food. I know I put tater tots up on Instagram <laughs> for tater tot day and Crispitos. Those loaded, yeah. those loaded tater tots are delicious. I know. Mm. Was it the Crispitos that one day you texted me out of the blue? It's Crispitos. The Crispitos. Yes. And um, it was funny because we were in Little Rock, Arkansas, and we we're going, okay, listen, like Natchitoches has, you know, meat pies and, you know, they've got all this fried food. What's yours? And uh, Bill was going, the, from the CVB is all, we have cheese dip. <laughs> no. like, cool. And you texted me right at that time. I'm like, okay, it's like, you know, the South and cheese, I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> but there was another thing that I was looking at, you know, all the, it was the French, it's the French Express market, right? That we were going to. French um, market, yes. French, French market, market yeah. yeah. It's right, it's cool because it's right by all the hotels. You know, we were staying at the Best Western there and, um, and so you just walk over, get your bottle of wine. And a meat pie. And your, free, your fried food and everything. But um, there was Crispitos in there. But now I was looking, it looks like there was not a burrito, but there was something else kind of folded. And it was different than a Crispito. Now I don't know what, what we ate there, but it was good. <laughs> Interesting. You know, and funny story, the Chamber of Commerce had their annual awards in January. And French Market Express won one of their business categories. Um, I, I think it was lar best large business. So how fun is that? that right on. Cool. Yeah. Right on. Very cool. But don't they do, which we didn't eat, don't, didn't they get their name from um, doing yams and cake or something? Making yams? They do yam cakes, yes. And they are really mm. good. Yes. Mm. We're going to have to plan a food show. I'm hungry yes. now. I think of Natchitoches and I'm hungry. And I'm hungry. hungry. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and yeah, the daiquiri, the drive-in daiquiris, I will never forget that. But also those Bloody Marys. Oh, my gosh. Remember oh, yeah. those? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. From my ears. Mm -hmm. Those were really good. I'm just saying we had a lot of good times. And there's breweries now. And, you know, there's a lot going on. So, okay. So that's your naughty stuff. Um, oh, gosh. You know, and how's the Cane River uh, river boat doing when you can go on the boat, the paddle boat? Cane River Queen, you know, they had an amazing festival Christmas festival season so they're actually taking a break the oh, boat wow. had to, had a few little repairs so he was taking yeah. about a month off um Captain Paul he did um actually hire a captain to come so he could take the tour because he he's captain the tour so much he wanted to be able to relax and take the tour so um he hired a captain to come in before the boat went in for repairs but i did see it's it's in the water right now so i'm sure he'll be coming back here in the next few weeks awesome awesome because i was cool. thinking do you think people get married on it like they could the boat i wedding. don't know if anyone has yet but i'm sure it's in the works yeah where do you is i mean do you get a lot of weddings in in the area are they where, where do they happen? We do. We do. We have a lot of, um, between Beaujard Inn, um, the event center, um, if they wanted a, you know, kind of bigger venue, um, a lot of our churches like Immaculate Conception, the big Catholic church has a lot of weddings, um, Prude and Rukier house, which is one of the oldest, um, Bousillage construction, um, Creole homes in the area. Um, a lot of people rent it out and use it for weddings. So um, yeah, we have several different venues here that are perfect um, for wedding, um, either the ceremony or the reception. Hmm. I was just thinking that because it's that time of year and I was thinking about um, you know, in Steel Magnolias, it was St. Augustine, the, the, the way the wedding happened. And it was draped in blush and bashful. See, there it is. <laughs> Yeah. There it is. Well, I think this is a cool, you know, little escape. It's a romantic escape. You've got all the bed and breakfasts out there too. So yes, exactly. And our bed and breakfasts have been rocking and rolling, but um, we are, we are really excited. We're working with them this spring. Um, just let people know more about them, um, about mm -hmm. the unique qualities in the bed and breakfast. Um, we've been doing a lot of photo shoots with them so we can show people what they really look like and, and get people to go stay there. Awesome. They're nice. We stayed at one um, Sweet Cane Inn, Nancy. Was that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That was lovely. That was really nice. And they have wine time. So it's even double 
there you <laughs> double go. Bubbly. <laughs> double, double bubbly. Double bubbly. You got to go there. And they have a ghost. That's they do right. have a ghost. Yes, mm -hmm. they do. It's historic. And we so, did talk about that a few weeks ago, yes. <laughs> yes, you got to have the spirits and some high spirits. So one thing I've always wanted to see is the, these dragon boat races. So is that yeah, a, isn't that a, like a university? That. I know. I want to go and like mm. film them. So that's a university thing? Yes. Yeah, so the univer one of the university um, departments, the Department of First Year Experience, um, actually kind of spearheads that and puts that on. Um, and it's a fundraiser for parts of the university. And then, um, but it is a full dragon boat race. Um, you can have a team if you'd like, or you can just come out and watch. Um, they work with a company out of Canada that actually comes down and they do several of the races in and around Louisiana. Um, there's a whole circuit of them that happened in April and May and June. So um, they will be here in Natchitoches on Saturday, April 4th um, on Cane River Lake, which of course it is a lake. Um, you know, used to be part of the Red River, but um, when the Red River jumped its banks and made a new um, path, it created this 30-something um, mile Oxbow Lake, um, and there is no waves or no wakes. So it is actually a oh, nice. really amazing lake to do something like this on because you can go super fast. Wow. And you want to because there's gators in there. <laughs> <laughs> they won't be in that area. <laughs> you know, Nancy and I almost made an armadillo cake and like. Yeah, we were so tempted. We were going to make one, but it's really hard to oh, bake when, you're, when we're on the road. Well, you know what? We might be able to where we are now. Today we're in Joshua Tree at our friend's bed and breakfast oh, where she's fantastic. selling it. So we're here to, she's retiring after all these years. She's been one of our buddies for many, many years. And, um, so she's got it's a full on kitchen, place. Nancy. She, Jerry knows how to bake. Let's do yeah. it. I wonder if we can get her to do it. Because <laughs> we're going to need her help because we can't remember how to cook. <laughs> or <laughs> a, she's got a chef's kitchen. It's really nice. Oh, oh nice. and she knows a chef. So just you never know what's going to happen with this. So the other part, so you've got the, the, you know, here's the river having all this activity. Uh, speaking of that too, the second Steel Magnolia Run, and apparently it's sassy. What's, this is March 4th. So March 14th is a big weekend here. You've got Art Along the Bricks, Bloomin' on the Bricks. So you've got Art Running and Flower Power. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you start the morning with a really fun 5K um, and then Art Along the Bricks, um, our local art guild puts that on every year. And so they'll take over a whole section of Front Street um, which is the Burke Street downtown, and they'll have art displayed, and all their artists will be here, and they bring in guest artists. There'll be demonstrations, and um, there'll be music, and they'll be selling art. It'll be a really fun experience. And then down on the riverbank, blooming on the bricks, um, plants, flowers, things that go along with that. Um, it's a really fun day. Um, there's usually kids activities and um, the farmer's market kind of joins in. And so um, that is a really fun time just to be kind of be downtown for sure. March is going to be a really busy but fun month for us. Mm. And then, you know, I'm looking in, and it goes off to in April, the um, annual Melrose Arts and Crafts Festival. So that's another plantation. It's a historic landmark and talk about art. I mean, it's uh, also a big deal if you're into folk art like Clementine Hunter. Uh, you know, she's, she's an icon, man. And she, she, she lived there. She is. She certainly is. Her name has become renowned all over the world, obviously now. And um, her murals are on display in several of her paintings at Melrose, as well as her house. They've actually moved her house onto the plantation now, and they did a big restoration and unveiling. So you can actually tour where Clementine lived, which is interesting. But um, this is their 46th annual Melrose Arts and Crafts Festival. They've been doing this for 46 years. Um, and it's a two-day event out at the plantation under the oaks, um, vendors, arts and crafts, children's, um, soaps, jewelry, um, different types of art, acrylics and pottery and um, woodworking. I mean, you name it, they probably have a vendor that sells it. Um, and then they'll have music and there's food and all kinds of fun stuff. But it is an event that people come from all over to come see. Um, and it is quite a sight and you, you will find something at this mm. event. Mm. 
So, and, cool. and it's a good excuse to go back to the plantation. It's such a fascinating building. I mean, it's not just a plantation, but the buildings on the side, like the African hut and, yes. um, Yucca and beautiful house. gardens and, and those oak yeah. trees. I think that's where Nancy and I wanted to hang out all day. Well, they let yes. us have mm -hmm. wine under the oak tree. <laughs> I know. Um, I don't think we're allowed. Probably, <laughs> especially with your backpack. Oh, yeah, you know the Porto Vino. Hey, listen, our Kisachi Forest Porto Vino moment is going all over the place. We have a Porto Vino wine map. If you go to nationalparktraveling.com, we now even have a challenge to get for, to collaboratively. We all go out and enjoy a nature view. So you can see it on our Big Blend community. We are collaboratively, we're all working together to have 2,020 views in 20 months. And um, it's all because of our Kisachi wine time moment in the storm and uh -huh. the, at the top of the big buttes <laughs> the big beautiful butte the big beautiful buttes of kasachi <laughs> national forest but yeah that that backpack uh, that that experience is going quite it ended up on the porto vino blog too on their fantastic blog, talking about that so yeah uh but everybody yeah wine time you, it's an it's no no one knows it's stealth you just have to <laughs> just open that little flap and have some wine. But exactly, okay, see? <laughs> one, one of our favorite things was the folk festival. Nancy, yes. like oh, really. Yes, yeah. that was really good. Mm -hmm. So many different crafts. I really like the lady that did the egg paintings. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, and the Sankey eggs. Mm. I'm glad you can say that. Oh, that's <laughs> right. She did tell us that. Yeah, and we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. be airing that. We did an interview with her while we're there, and so everyone stay tuned oh, closer to Easter. Yeah. We'll that was beautiful work. Airing that, but all the music, the Zydeco, mm. the Tab Benoit, and I mean, all of the music was just so authentic and just down home good. And, um, and now I'm seeing you've got another festival that we need to like, you know, start planning for at some point because <laughs> uh, the uh, May 15th and 16th is the Jazz and R&B Festival. Where is that? Is that downtown? Yes. Yeah, so um, it is scheduled to be on the Riverbank stage um, on the May 15th and 16th. Unfortunately, this last year, they had to move it into Prather Coliseum where you went to Folk Festival because of the weather. So per keep your fingers crossed that there's good weather because um, we really want to have it downtown this year. Mm. Um, but this is the 24th year um, for this festival. So it's been going for a really long time. And they just announced um, their entertainment lineup. So on Friday night, they've got um, Lucas Jagno and the Roadshow. It's a um, rising country star um, from the region. And then popular Zotico and R&B legends, Frank, uh, Keith Frank and the Swallows Zotico Band and then followed up with LA Rocks, which is, they've been dubbed the world's greatest arena rock tribute band. So you've got country, Zotico, and rock all on Friday night. Cool. And then on Saturday, we actually have Rowdy Friends review a Hank Williams Jr. tribute. Oh, yeah. Which my husband, as soon as he read that, he was like, we're going. No, that's it. <laughs> I was yeah. Like, okay. Um, but with country sensation Dustin Sonia, who is from Louisiana, um, he'll be um, singing with them and performing, as well as our local Johnny Earthquake and the Moon Dogs um, band. They'll be doing some uh, a performance of sweet soul music. That's kind of the theme for them. Um, they also will be joined by legendary Peter Rivera um, from the multi platinum group Rare Earth. Hmm. And then um, they've got some other things, but kind of capping off the Saturday night. Um, they're closing out in a spectacular way with a performance by ACDC tribute band Back in Black. So, right on. Now that yes. you wouldn't expect to see at a jazz festival. <laughs> no, no. I love good. that. Well, but listen, jazz, jazz is in everything, right, Nancy? We always talk yeah. about that. Jazz yeah. is, yeah. You can Definitely. almost make anything into jazz. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And so, um, you know, this festival is really good because they, they really do try to bring a little bit of every genre into it and they, and they really truly um, do. And so this year is looking like a really amazing lineup. So this is going to be a really good weekend to come in town, grab you a bed and breakfast. Um, most of them are within walking distance of the downtown um, area and the downtown stage. And it'll be a really good time just to come in, hear some amazing music, experience the downtown area and have some fun. Right on, man. So as cool. a family, this has got to be a cool, you know, time, you know, season for y'all to go out and, you know, with the kids and go to these kind of events. And 
get exactly. face painting and all that kind of stuff. Is that yeah. what happens? Yeah. So there's, there's, um, most of our festivals do include some sort of children's component. Um, you know, but just being in the, you know, in the area right now, especially with, you know, we've talked a lot about Kasachi, but, um, you know, it's, it's getting into that time where it's a really great time to go out for your family hikes. And, um, mm -hmm. I, I think we're going out this Sunday. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a really good time to, for family travel to Natchitoches, definitely. Right on. Well, thank you so much, Kelly, for the, for the Natchitoches report. That's <laughs> right. There's no Making us it. feel homesick. I know. I know, right? Well, we miss y'all too. We, we well, miss thank you. You, you got to tell Arlene that we say, hi, y'all. Hi, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, everybody at the CVB office. And um, I do want to give a shout out to the Cane River National Heritage Area, too, with their tours that they do. Um, yes. I really, I, I keep, you know, every time we write anything in the magazine, um, which you guys are, you know, one of our favorite places to feature is, you know, go on one of those walking tours of the downtown district uh, with the heritage area because you, I mean, I can't believe the history we got within an hour. And mm -hmm. yes, and they're, you, they're 45 minutes to an hour and they're complimentary. So why mm -hmm. not? You know, it's a great way to really get a lot of the history in a little bit about the time. And then once you go out and see the plantations or go to the, you know, the fort or, you know, you're just walking down the street, you understand a little bit more. Mm, exactly. It's, it's really, and it's beautiful. It's one of the most charming cities to walk through. It doesn't feel like a city at all. But no, um, no, yes, uh, it's, it's super, super cool. So everyone, the website again is Natchitoches.com and that's like Natchitoches. So it's N-A-T-C-H-I-T-O-C-H-E-S, Natchitoches.com. And the other thing, oh, before I forget this, you're on the Cane River, I mean, excuse me, the El Camino Real de los Tejas National Historic Trail. And yes. this is a royal road that goes from Mexico through Texas all the way to Natchitoches. Natchitoches, to Natchitoches. Is the exactly. final stop. And in the spring, you guys have the sail on the trail that goes from Natchitoches, Louisiana, uh, through uh, Toledo Bend, Sabine Parish, which is beautiful. You've got the reservoir. Um, you've got, it's, it's gorgeous scenic byway. And then you go into uh, Natchitoches, which is the garden capital of Texas. So this is like this beautiful route to take. And I would say spring is, is really cool to do it, huh? Yes, so um, that'll be actually May 1st and 2nd. First weekend in May um, is the sail on the trail. And yes, it is a wonderful time to come through. There are uh, flea markets, antique markets, um, yard sales, garage sales um, all along the route. A lot of our boutiques participate. So there is shopping galore. It's 111 miles from Natchitoches to Natchitoches and there are vendors all throughout that area. And yes, wow. we invite everybody to come take a road trip through the area. We're considered the Caddo region of the trail um, and come have a good time with us and shop a little bit because you never know what you're going to find at these places. <laughs> I know, especially family antiques and things. You never know. Yes, like exactly. did the American pickers should come out. <laughs> yeah, sure. I know that would be really cool but yeah the same, that whole district and then there's all those historic sites like Los Adeos that we went to yes. um, all, you know these historic forts and um, some some you have to call in advance uh, some aren't always open but um, weekends you'll probably do better on that but um, really fascinating history of Louisiana's no man's land and the neutral strip where there was no law and order for three years exactly Cool. Yeah, um, you know, the No Man's Land area um, is really interesting um, with that. And, and we're starting to really kind of find some stories of those outlaws and criminals cool. and tyrants <laughs> in those areas. And so um, we're really, we're, we're preparing those stories to be told as well. So find, find No Man's Land on Facebook and watch for those stories. Oh, excellent. And That's you can go cool. to visit nomansland.com, I think is the website. Certainly, right? Certainly, yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm like, and listen, Kelly, they do not like to be called pirates. They're privateers. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> you know, la di da. Uh, <laughs> Arr. Arr, I know. Yeah. I know. 
Well, thanks again. And everyone, uh, Nakadish.com. Uh, See, we, we should be having our daiquiris with you to do this. And yes. I'll, I'll pronounce everything correctly. <laughs> uh, and also, everyone, uh, you can keep up with our adventures in Nakadish at nationalparktraveling.com. Uh, also on, on Blend Radio and TV.com. And of course, Big Blend Radio here. We air Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sundays, except on weekends because you all should be out traveling and having a good oh. time. So <laughs> uh, go to bigblendradio.com for that. But we always love to play music. And of course, we got to do Louisiana music. We have to, you know, Kelly would, you know, hit us over the head all the way from Macintosh, uh with, with our daiquiri straw. That's right. Um, there you go. I know. Uh, here's Luke's Stomp. It is from Johnny Master and the Mama's Boys. It is from the album Luke's Dream, and you can keep up with them. They're based out of New Orleans, but they do like to travel around the swampy southeast. So <laughs> keep up with them at johnnymastro.com. So here it is, Luke's Stomp. Thanks so much, Kelly. Thanks, Thanks Kelly. Kelly. A dream, man that I died. That's come around and took me for a ride. Yeah, it felt so good. See my old friend. Said, hey now, look, man, where you been? Since you gone, got no one to blame. Everything's so different, everything's the same. Talk, <laughs> don't know your mind. 